Every morning when I wake up, I am so amazed that I get to work with these medical students and with these residents. I'm just really passionate about helping the next generation think about how they want to practice medicine and interested in helping them understand the value of lifestyle medicine and how that really can not only help reverse someone's disease, but can prevent it as well. I know that they're going to influence and impact hundreds and thousands of other lives. My name is Brenda Ray and I am an assistant professor at Loma Linda University and I also help lead the Lifestyle Medicine Residency Curriculum Implementation at Loma Linda. The LMRC was first piloted at three sites in 2018 and then in 2019 we added five sites. This last year, 2020, we have added the total of 17 altogether. And right now we have about 25 or more sites that are going to be implementing in 2021. Andrew Mock is one of our amazing residents. He's one of our family and preventive medicine combined residents. I think Andrew is really driven by the idea that lifestyle medicine makes such an impact with the patients. He's a huge patient advocate. He's a huge physical activity advocate. My strongman titles include 2018 Georgia Strongest Man, 2019 California Strongest Man, and I took sixth place at World Strongest Man in the middleweight category. When I was looking at where I wanted to do my continuing medical education for residency, I always knew that I could continue my own education when it came to resistance training or improving cardiovascular health through exercise. But I didn't feel like I had adequate grasp of what needed to be done from a nutrition perspective to create meaningful change in people's lives and improve their health conditions. When I met Dr. Ray, I knew that Loma Linda was the place that I needed to train. And I also knew that by coming here, the place where nutrition research is being done at the top international level, that I would end up meeting people that were my equivalent in nutrition. The very first day of residency, we had our orientation to the lifestyle medicine residency curriculum. And the first lecture was given by Dr. Renee Thomas. I knew that I had immediately found my counterpart when it came to nutrition. I've always focused on nutrition more than anything else. And then I have this other person with this thing about exercise in my residency program. It's like, if I ever have a question, I'm texting you. I need to know the answers to this. The lifestyle medicine curriculum is something that I was so excited to see. And it was really something that, at least when I was in medical school, I had dreamed of having. This is a pre-packaged set of slide decks that are meant to educate you on all of the components of lifestyle medicine. With the ultimate goal of residents being eligible to sit for the lifestyle medicine boards that are put on by the American Board of Lifestyle Medicine residents can actually take the material that we prepared and they can learn the material, become experts in each of the areas that they have chosen to present and then be a resource for their colleagues in that particular area. Having lectures presented by your peers, it makes them way more engaging, way more relevant and more likely for you to pay attention and potentially put it in your clinical practice. I know someone like Andrew made exercise prescriptions, I made some nutritional things based upon those lectures and it just kind of keeps giving and giving and I really think part of that is because it's at the resident level. Residency really is that place where you are meant to come together and collaborate and share ideas so you can all become better trained physicians. It points out this piece that is social connectedness and what type of qualities should be there and that is a supportive environment that's going to help you be the best version of yourself. For other residencies that are thinking about implementing the LMRC, I would say just do it. It'll be life-changing for your residency program.